Yeah, the last 5 k's was the most stressful 5 k's I've ever had to run. Um, the gap wasn't opening up, even though I was running extremely well. I was still running like 350 per k, and the boys, and then Brad was running extremely well, and with the last 2 k's to go, people were shouting 10 seconds, 14 seconds. Yeah, the last two Ks, I just thought about my mom and my dad that I lost in the last two and a half years. It's been extremely tough and I just did it for them that last two Ks and I dedicate everything to them and my little boy. And yeah, I'm just so happy and so proud to have taken the second win again in my hometown soil. A bit of a surreal feeling getting a top three all South Africans, first time ever done. Um, man, it was such an up and day, down, up and down day. I felt I had really good patches where it felt so easy and I was so in control. And then other sections where I was really just so under the pump, I blew it about the 26 kilometer mark, and Matt ran away from me. And I thought, oh, game over. Um, and all of a sudden, my legs came back to me, and I and I ran through Matt. And then all of a sudden, Kyle was coming back, and I was just like completely in a bit of a, in a, in a zone and um, yeah unfortunately just couldn't get him at the end I, I ran out of steam I, I think if I had a bit more real estate maybe I could have pulled him in but I was hurting so bad at the end there that maybe it wouldn't have made a difference but yeah just an amazing day for South Africa yeah uh, firstly big congrats to Carl um, he set up hard and I didn't think he was going to hold on but it's uh, uh, yeah uh, big congrats to him um, and to Brad of course he came back strong there yeah, I really, I faded at like 30k, just went through a really, really bad patch and wasn't sure I was even going to hold on to third. So, I guess in hindsight I'm happy that I got on the podium at least. Uh, it would have been nice to have not had that uh, that dip, uh, but yeah, that's fine, man. It's all about the last 10k, so... Um, yeah, congrats to the guys in front of me. Uh, yeah, I mean, something to work on. But, I mean, for what I had today, I gave it my all. And, um, yeah, I don't think I have any regrets. <laughs> Not at the moment, maybe tomorrow. But at the moment, I guess, yeah, happy with it. I would have, of course, liked to have a full swim. <laughs> um, so the swim felt so short. and. Uh, yeah, then the bike was just so slow, I think. It felt like pretty slow conditions and um, yeah, then actually on the run I, I felt really good on the first part. Um, but I don't remember when I was dying <laughs> like that last time. And, and emotionally with uh, your husband and your baby. Yeah, it's good that they were here. I, w I don't know. I, I couldn't have done it by myself. This time. <laughs> so after uh, disappointment in Dubai, come to Africa, yeah. take the Kona spot. Up here? Yeah, yes. Yes, totally. Need some time. Just think it's. <laughs> Looks like you need a massage as well, eh? It was a hard race until the end. Yeah. But a good race. Tough and a good race. A short swim was good for me. I don't like the long swim. And so the short swim was actually good for me. Yeah. The bike was, was really tough. A, a lot of rain and wind. And you, had, you, you needed really a, a hard mind to come back to the transition and then to, uh, then to start the run. And then the sun was shining, you have to cool down your body all the time and yeah. Thank you. Well done. When the swim was shortened, I wasn't happy because I'm a, I'm a okay swimmer, so I know you can put in some time on the girls. Um, and I know like from last year, it was really dramatic to do the swim. So I was like, yo, are we going to do that again? Um, it was okay. It was better than last year. And then... Um, but it was choppy and then on the bike I, I had a pack and then they were just a little bit uh, too far so I was on my own and then on the second loop I got another pack but then they were also too strong and for the first time I just kept to my pace I was like just stick to your guns you know you're gonna run after this I worked hard on the run so on the run I just kept going the same pace and 
every now and then I just see I'm in fifth and then fourth and then third and then fourth and then third. <laughs> but we had it all out there. It was rain. It was cold. How did it feel when you finally got into third? Like an the finish? Um, so when it was on the top four turn around when I went into third and it was the longest two and a half go back here. Um, ever and then in the last 500 meters my sister shouted she's 20 seconds behind I was like no <laughs> so um, no it was awesome when I eat that red carpet